So today, guys, just feeling a little bit down, you know? Feeling like I need to vent a little bit. And no, I'm not playing Fleet of Fucking Facility. Been pretty depressing. If you didn't already know, or if you don't live in the US, or I don't know if people outside of the US also go back to school on the same around the same time, but back to school is here. And I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna have to deal with it as worse as back then, because I'm in college. So it might not be as worse for me, but for a lot of people, I know this is a shitty time of year. I don't know why this bitch is in my face. Let me listen. <laughs> School is gonna come back soon. And honestly, everyone has to get back in those old dirty classrooms, man. I remember, remember those days. The new day of school where everyone gets fresh. Everyone looks nice, except me. I don't know why I didn't look nice. I'm out here wearing those Payless shoes. Now, some of you might not know what the Payless shoes are. If you ever shop at Payless, they have those um, particularly flat Vans looking shoes. And I used to wear those. I used to wear those while going to school. And you might wonder, ew, dude, why didn't you just go get reps off DH gate? We didn't have that. We didn't have that back then. We didn't have that back in no goddamn DH gate where I can get some fake, you know, Jordan ones. <laughs> no, no, no. I had to wear those fucking Payless shoes. And honestly, I think I'll rock them, you know? I think it'll look pretty nice. I can't show you a pic of it because I don't have a pic of it. But I can give you a representation of what my outfit might might have looked like back then. It didn't look good, you know? It looked terrible. Payless shoes with the off-brand Levi's, and they weren't Wranglers. They, they weren't even Wranglers. I think there was some fucking, some goddamn Echo jeans from Ross with a big ass E on the back of the pocket. And it was fat too. You see how you guys have all these, these baggy jeans like that and it looks nice on you with the small top. I had the big ass, stiff, starch, fucking fat ass jeans. My mom would always be like, wow, son, you look handsome. No, the fuck I don't. No, the fuck I don't. Everyone's coming clean. Everyone's coming fresh, and except me. Now, for the people that are, um, you might know what the swap meet is, or if you're from LA, or from the California area. They have something called swap meets. They're similar to flea markets, from the flea market. Them cheap ass flea market jeans, cheap ass flea market shirts. And I've told the story to Kishi before. If getting Payless shoes wasn't already bad enough, my goddamn mom had to give me graphic tees. But no, 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 no. They're not like the Star Wars, Super Mario graphic tees. And they're not the cheap sheen graphic tees either. They're, they're the fucking, I don't know what you call these type of, gra I gotta pull it up. It's equivalent to people that wear the ramen noodle and the goddamn wolf hoodies. They are made out of 100% polyester and they have all the fucking lint on them. It, that was what equivalent it was back then. So I have a fucking shirt that just says PlayStation or Xbox on it. A shirt with just like Panda fucking saying it's lit. Like, oh, Panda lit. Think about you're in the lunchroom right now. First day of school, you got a goddamn shirt that says Panda lit. Payless shoes and stiff ass Ross jeans. Back then, I didn't pick out my clothes, you know, because I didn't feel like it. My mom was like, oh, I'll go pick it out for you. She picked out that goddamn them ugly ass jeans. You know which one I'm talking about? She's like, oh, you look handsome. Them some fucking church jeans. The type of jeans you wear to like goddamn funeral are, well, you don't wear jeans to a funeral, but jeans you wear to like court or some shit. Or it's like the EBT office type of jeans. Like some you don't really want to be seen in or you don't want to look too rich in type of jeans. I wasn't complaining at the time. It was mainly just them ugly ass shirts she would give me. She'd give me a goddamn, just a ugly ass like Rick and Morty, a goddamn Sanjay and Craig shirt. It wasn't even, it. the print was just a piece of paper printed on the shirt. If you know those cheap ass, goddamn Coles cash ass, those Coles, goddamn this fucker killed me. You go in the goddamn lunchroom, all you want to do is eat the little, the little square pizza and the, the nasty corn that comes in the can. And you eat that shit 
and you look across the goddamn room and you know your favorite latina is there today you know aguilera is there today aguilera is at here in the lunchroom with me we thought she went to a different school she was talking last year like she was gonna go to a different school i was like thank god because i already know my fit's gonna look trash i don't want to see that bitch anymore because i had a crush on her to look across the room and she see a fat ass fucking adventure time shirt with the box the fucking box print adventure time shirt and you might be like that's normal that's normal captain wizard but he was black then the human was black he had a chain on and weirdly back then i thought it kind of went hard i was like oh he's black like he had he had the chain on he got like grills and stuff and like um i forgot his fucking name rigby rigby had dreads i thought it was cool back then and she couldn't stop laughing when she seen the shirt i was like damn i'm wearing this again because everyone is like noticing me i'm getting all the girls right now they weren't laughing with me they were laughing at me they were like i ain't no way you didn't show up with the third week fit because you know how you wear like your fire fit for the first week of school and then you kind of just start wearing sweatpants after the second week like because no one who cares after that point they're over here saying i'm wearing my third week fit they're talking about like oh are you gonna like like change into a different fit it's just like just your your pre-fit no this is my fit for the next two days because it's, it's it's just a, a second day fit you guys wear the same two t-shirts every fucking day of the week at home. Okay, it's the same goddamn thing. But anyway, wearing a Finn the Human shirt. Finn the Human with fucking Rigby on it. Two completely different shows. You have Finn the Human with a chain and grills. You have Rigby with dreads. There was no Mordecai. There was no Jake. It was just Finn the Human and goddamn Rigby. So already it didn't even, it wasn't real. I don't even know how you could get an off-brand graphic tee, but that was an off-brand graphic tee. It's typically graphic tees you say like um, something stupid, like a TV show or something, but it was somehow she managed to get an off-brand graphic tee. And the thing is she didn't even get it from Ross. I know damn well she got it from Flea Market. Cause I looked on the goddamn tag and it said oh, Gildan. I knew it was gonna be a goddamn Gildan. It wasn't a Fruit of a Loom. It was a goddamn guild and the shit was itchy and stiff and she was gonna whoop my ass if i didn't wear that but i just spent i just spent three dollars on this and you're not gonna wear it for squad you look handsome sonny you look nice in that it didn't look nice it, even in 2014 i don't know how you guys have like all your ironic shirts you know that's it that wasn't ironic that wouldn't even be ironic right now i don't know how long it's gonna take for like it's lit turn up shirts to come back and be ironic, but it wasn't ironic right now or back then. Definitely not back then because the shirt was, it was an ugly color too. It was like a blue, it was a blue shirt. I had my gray polo S in some shit like that. They were, they're not the polo Ralph Lawrence. They're the polo fucking PSSN police traumatic system, fucking detective system ones. You know what I'm talking about. If you guys know the fake polo, polo assassin. Goddamn Polo, yes, Polo Assassin, the fake fucking Polo Assassin. Now, I'm not that big of a hate of a Polo Assassin. I got a Polo Assassin hoodie right now. I wear it almost every day. A Polo Black Assassin, no one knows it's a Polo Assassin jacket. Cause, you know, it doesn't have a Polo on it. So it just looks like a normal black jacket. It's a pretty nice jacket. But back then, if your ass was wearing Polo Assassin, if your ass was wearing like rock wear, and you wasn't wearing True Religion, you would get inflamed. No one's gonna talk to you. Your crush is not gonna like you. She's gonna th think you stink. And you might think like, well, don't dress all popular. Don't dress for yourself. I tried that. I tried dressing all quirky with the flannels. My mom would give me that cheap ass Walmart flannel that shrinks and it looks like a goddamn tank top on me. I would have that tight ass flannel on trying to look like fucking Kurt Cobain and it's tight around my neck. I even try to like button it up. And you can see my goddamn stomach finna pop the button off. Like we're in a Pornhub video. So I was popping buttons. So I was popping collars in middle school and it wasn't a good time for me. Didn't look good. No one wanted me. Not even like the alternative girls. I listened to like 21 Pilots back then because that's what was hot back then. I know all you guys see your dev tones. Think about 21 Pilots. That was, oh my God. Yeah, I would be wearing the goddamn uh, Rockaway jeans with my Apollo Assassins. Wasn't a good time. The only time I kind of got a little bit of help is during winter. 
because I was a little bit on a chubbier side, as you know. Not too chubby though. Still looking nice, still looking sexy. I had like a thousand aura back in, in winter. Untouchable. In the winter, I was like fucking prime Michael B. Jordan. Because I can put on a fat ass hoodie and it would hide my curves. Because yeah, I had fucking curves at 10 years old. Get your ass over here! That wasn't me. That's it for today's video, guys. If you're um going through a situation where you're getting bullied at school, I would tell you to go to a principal or go to a teacher, no. Beat their ass. And after you beat their ass, send them this video. Because it's cool to be weird. You know, it's cool to be weird. And send them this video, beat them up. Give them a goddamn wet willy, pull their goddamn trousers up and push them in a goddamn locker. Bitch, this fucking bitch. Throw them in a goddamn locker and bully them back. It's the only way to win. I guess dumbass bitch bullies. I don't care. Oh, I was abused as a child. Nobody gives a fuck. I was sexually abused as a child. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want more videos like this, just hit that, that subscribe button and oh my fucking God, emo little bitch. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Take that subscribe button into the bathroom and bathe with that subscribe button. Hit that like button, eat that like button, put it on a sandwich with some lettuce and the tomatoes, bacon, and eat that fucking like button. Comment what you want me to talk about next. You want me to do story times? What do you want me to do on MM2? Because I'm kind of enjoying my MM2 era right now. The fuck is that noise? Sorry. So tell me what you want me to do next on MM2 because I lost some MM2 and I enjoy making videos on it and I'm yapping. Bye.